Ball home of the Tigers for this round 22 Winfield Cup match between Balmain and Penrith. And what a crucial game it is for Balmain after Brisbane defeated Nords yesterday and moved on to 28 points. The Tigers are on 27 and need to beat second place Penrith today to assure them of the number three spot. A loss could possibly see them drop out altogether. And listen to this cheer as the Balmain Tigers make their way under Leichhardt Oval, led out by Wayne Pearce. This is it. This is the moment of truth for the Tigers. Will they finish third or could they miss out? The full lineup for you. Jack O'Brien, Brasher, Courier, Grant, Neil, Freeman, Pierce, Maguire, Surinan, Edmund, Elias Roach and the coach Warren Ryan. And what an opportunity is for this team, the Penrith Panthers. If they win, they could say goodbye to the Tigers and not have to meet them again in 1989. The team to do it, Baker, McIndoe, Bradley, Bentley, Simons, Izzard, Willis for Alexander, Vanderbilt, Cartwright, Guy, Gerard, Simmons, Goodwin, Ron Willie calling the shots. Referee today is Bill Harrigan. And you really get the feeling something is happening at Leichhardt today. The crowd has been storming in since early this morning. An unbelievable crowd of Leichhardt, a capacity crowd. I don't know what the whether they'll break the record or not, but certainly they've been pouring in. We've been waiting for them to close the gate, but they've been lined up outside for hours, and they're still there, still trying to get into Leichhardt. There must be something happening. Look at them. Look at the size of this crowd here at Leichhardt. I've never seen a crowd like this here. Unbelievable scenes here as we get underway with what should be a fantastic game of football and the Panthers have first use of the football as Simons has pulled out about 12 metres out from his own line. Here comes the man Mountain Guy, didn't get very far on this occasion, lost the football, the ground record in fact was 22,500 between Balmain and St George back in 85. I reckon they've well gone past that today. Yes, well those people are standing on the hill there about four or five deep right around the edge of the hill. So the first mistake coming from Penrith, the scrum will go down and it'll be a Balmain feed about 15 metres out from the Penrith line. And there's a punch up in the scrum already. And the penalty's been given to Balmain. And we'll try and sort this scrum situation out. Goodwin and Roach were hanging on to each other. Well, we watched the State Bank replay and it appears to me that Roach is just doing some holding on. He's not interested in throwing a punch. He's claiming, calling the referee and saying that Goodwin's getting stuck into him. He might have thrown a short left hand there, but as far as I'm concerned, Goodwin seems to be the instigator of that little fracas. The penalty's gone to the uh, Balmain side. And both of them are being spoken to at the moment. I think uh, you'll we'll find that he, he awarded the penalty before he was uh, notified of the incident in the scrum. Well, perhaps he was, but I think he saw the start of it. He still ran out and gave the penalty directly underneath the goal. That's which is a, a differential penalty from the scrum infringement uh, from the players at, uh, in the back line of Penrith. Offside, Elias trying for the quick one corner early in the game. Gets it, no problem. Tigers hit the lead. Well, that might be a very important kick there. There's Benny Elias taking some very quick thinking. A real spot-on decision that was. No muck about. Let's get a point. Bang, over she goes. One nil, one minute gone. <laughs> Plenty of action at Leichhardt. Baker will restart for the Panthers. Sends it down for Gary Jack on his own goal line. Can't reach the 10 metre mark. He's put down about a, well, just short of the 10 metre mark. Here comes Surinan, charging into the Panthers. Quick hands for Pierce. Through McGuire, punch up in back play. Hey. And there's somebody been decked in the Panther line Benny Elias came over the back of Cartwright, pulled him by the collar down. That's Benny what Elias. That's, could be in big trouble, Rex. What a fiery start to this game. Well, let's have a look at this now. Here's Maguire, and there's the little bit of action that starts between the two of them. Cartwright is the last of the straight backs. He's going to the left. Now, watch Benny Elias. He's got hold of uh, Cartwright and pulled him over from the back. Now, there was no punch in that, as far as I'm aware. No, but that's the sort of thing that referees and touch judges are after, the player that comes in second on an incident. We'll see it again. Let's just make absolutely sure. There, he's got him by the jersey and he pulls him down, so I can't see how he can get anything other than penalised for that. I don't see how he could be set off for that. 
It's curious that we had Jack Gibson in here just a few moments ago having a chat to us, and he said the stink will start in the opening couple of minutes. He was about half a minute out. What's the story there, Bill? Well, as you can see, and Bill Harrigan's trying to sort this out with his touch judges and the players. Tim Brash is getting attention here from the doctor, uh, of course, David Clifford for Balmain. They're having a close look at him. He got a knock in the first few minutes of this game. Cartwright still being worked on by the Penrith trainer, Brian Hyder, and he's signalling as if he wants to take him to the head bin. Yes, that's the ruling. It's exactly what they're doing. So Cartwright into the head bin. So there's an a immediate uh, blow to the Penrith side, one of their big second rowers, one of the strong men. Who we got, Bill? Carroll, he's a fresh reserve. Ron Willie had him seating bench just in case something like this happened. Of course, Cartwright going into the head bin. We should see him back in 10 minutes. What's the story with Brasher now, Bill? David Clifford, the Balmain doctor, will be keeping a very close eye on him. In fact, it's a groin injury. They're very concerned about it. They're going to give him a few minutes to see if he can run it out. But there is a worry. Gee, do you think Penrith have got trouble? The Tigers are in plenty of it as well with Brasher, a groin injury. All of this in the first 90 seconds or so. And the penalty gone to Balmain. the lecture to Elias all about? Don't what, do it again. What was the 60 second lecture all about? Well let's just keep our eye on these tackles now to see what happens in this Panther side, how revved up they are, Gerard. Roach, Penrith offside, a bit of a flare up again with Goodwin and Elias. Big blocker Roach just laughs at him. Billy Penrith have got to settle down. They sure have. It's important for them to concentrate on football and nothing else at the moment. I think there's a couple of get squares going on. They're very keen. They're just infringing on that five metres and Bill Harrigan's got them back. He's keeping their eye on, his eye on them. Tough match for Harrigan to handle so far. Brasher in trouble again. O'Brien, one nil the Tigers over Penrith. Roach. They swarm in on Roach. He knocks one out of the way. Vanderbilt, he bounced backwards. Edmund now, a gap on the fringe of the ruck. Brasher still getting more attention to that groin. Freeman. Neil. Jack. Looks for O'Brien. 3 to nil the penalty to the Tigers. Wayne Pierce. He'll be trying to take control of these Tigers to settle them down just as well. Neil, up goes the bomb. The breeze is going to take it out into the crowd, Nilly. All the way back in front of the quarter, it'll be a handover. Goodwin plays it. Geyer. Serenin. Look at clash between those two today. Carroll, what a tackle from Serenin. You don't have to tell him the third place is on the line today. Gerard. Storming defence from the Tigers. Simmons. Izzard. Badly went without it. Tigers in possession. They are really pumped up, Balmain. Pierce, quick hands. Furrier. To the outside of his man. He can't unload. Still going for Jack on the inside. Was tackled, he's going to be penalised. Gary Jack will be called back and penalised. Again, the players get involved. The penalty will go against Gary Jack. He was tackled. He got up and continued on. Well, have a look at it again. The, pl the tackle player actually rolls off him. He hasn't got a hand upon him at that stage. He got up. He thought he had the right to go ahead. The referee thought otherwise. Now Gerard, dead end. Once more, it's Roach. The dummy from Simmons. Electrifying pace. And this is certainly a tough match. They go blindside with Willis. He gets through. Good acceleration comes to Jack. He beats Jack. Great run from the halfback. He had the unmarked winger on the outside there, number two. Now the Panthers spread it. They've got numbers out on the right. Good one. He's cut off. They had a three-man overlap. They couldn't get it out there. Izzard away from Bradley. 
chip into the end goal. Jack's there, it's bouncing, and it goes in. Back to the corner. Good reply from Penrith. You know, before this game's half over, I'm going to have one man on my man of the match list. I know because Michael Neal's the fellow in question because I just can't go beyond his enthusiasm. He just gets so enthusiastic, so involved that he gets through two men's work. Incredible little player. Great kick from Baker. Penrith. After a bumpy start for them and Cartwright going to the head bin. They're bouncing right back. They're not far away. Vanderbilt standing. Guy has got it. Watch them swarm in. Right in midfield. Simmons. The band leader straighten up. Problems for Balmain up the middle there. The nine metres away, the Panthers. The mark has just opened up for Simmons. He gets two metres from the line. Last tackle. Balmain all offside behind the referee. He only had to turn around. He played the advantage. Good call from Bill Harrigan. Yes, he was uh, quite definitely in the right there. He didn't glance behind him. He could feel that they were offside, but he allowed the play to proceed on the basis of, uh, of keeping the action going. Baker will go for goal. He's right next to the post. There's the short angle. Edmund showing the signs of a real war at Leichhardt. Neil Baker. Just a couple of steps back. He's missed it. A real let off for Balmain. They keep the lead by one. At the field goal of Benny Elias in the opening 60 seconds. The Tigers having awful trouble getting out of their own quarter. Here comes Sirenen. Four running. And straight from the middle goes Big Ciro. Gets to it in 10 metres of the halfway mark. Great run from Sirenen. Last tackle now, Elias has been flattened after the kick and uh, Harrigan's got it and he's set, Cartwright's been set off. Nansen, ben, he's been set off. He's indicating the elbow was used. Roach is uh, having a bit of a shot at him as he goes from the field. Let's have a look at it. There's Benny Elias just about to kick the ball as well and surely left him. And the left uh, elbow comes up and puts him hard across the face. And uh, that will be a judiciary appearance for Johnny Cartwright, and uh, I wouldn't be very hopeful about his coming out of it OK. Not wanting to second guess, but again on the State Bank replay, that head-on shot is not quite as clear. The side-on one was the one to show the use of the elbow, and uh, the point of uh, impact was quite definitely across the face. So, what drama of Leica. <clears throat> Three handling errors each side. Elias down the blind side, links up with O'Brien, gets to the corner line, pulled down by Simons. Elias again links up with Freeman, then to Maguire. On his own, Maguire takes the tackle inside the quarter. Now here comes Roach. Straight ahead goes the big blocker. Slip the Yes, the transfer of the pass from Roach on to Brasher was the point that uh, indicated there, I think, clearly. There was the pass, and, well, it wasn't all that much forward, but it was clearly forward because the referee was standing only about five feet from it. So Willis jumps on the loose ball. Eight metres out from the Penrith line. What drama. Caught by Sirman. And there's a punch up between Sirman and a Penrith player. Well, Sirman might join somebody here. Gerard looked to be king hit. Sirman might join Cartwright. No. Sirman and Guy are really having an eyeball to eyeball confrontation there. And uh, let's see it again. Well, there's uh, 
Gerard. He's given a right and a left hand with, without any response for him. He's got to go. Well, it was a dead set king hit. There's no question about that. He's claiming is uh, that uh, Guyer is claiming that he got a uh, uh, rather Surinam is claiming he got a slap in the face with the elbow from Gerard. And ten minutes in the bin for Surinam. And perhaps Sir can uh, consider himself a little bit fortunate that that's what he got. Well, obviously the touch judges mentioned the fact that Gerard raised his elbow. That must have been a mitigating circumstance. Both sides down to 12. And the score remains at 1-0 to Balmain. about life and limb here at Leichhardt. Goodwin. Next year he'll link up with Parramatta. He's giving it all today for Penrith. Izzard, run around with Willis. The clock has stopped it in case any of you are interested. Izzard. Bentley. Manages to slip through. Look to be offside in the play of the ball. Willis has got it. Beats one. Last tackle. Simmons. Back for Baker. He's going to try a long ranger. Looking to even it up. It's going to go wide. Back to the quarter line. Worth a try that one. He was not under any pressure. And the ball doesn't miss by all that much. Maybe eight or ten feet to the left. But nonetheless it was a good attempt from a long way out. Bill Balmain, of course, have been beaten by 12 men. We think back to that match in Perth against uh, Parramatta this year. Yeah, they have been, Graham, but a game played at this pace, and believe me, it's from where I'm sitting on the sideline, it's just a matter of survival out there at the moment. But with a game played, played at this frantic pace, I'd have to stick with a team of 13 men. They're down to 12 at the moment. Freeman's right through, he's got support. Brash is there, he overruns him. Quick play, the ball required, he's up. Elias ran too far with the ball. They needed quick hands out to the left. Courier. Maguire. It's Penrith's turn to hang on. Elias goes down the blind for O'Brien. Tries to step Simons. He manages to unload. Ropes away for Courier. Shapes for a field goal. Keeps it going. Tried to get a pass out to Jack. Six more tackles. Jack's got it now. He stands. Back for Brasher. The ball's going everywhere. He straightens. Just outside the corner. The penalty will come. <laughs> Harrigan moves in quickly to try and calm things. Well, Bradley and Goodwin took a, an age, a dog's age, to get off the uh, tackle player on that occasion. It was just, uh, it had to be. I mean, you count the seconds now. One, two, 